Okay, we'll go right in there. The dress in the car, I don't worry about that. Go right in there. It's already in there, though. My dress? Yes. yes. How you do that? <laughs> oh my God, just no change, mama. Lord have mercy on everybody here. How y'all doing? Thank y'all so much. Give us just a few minutes. so much for coming out. At this time, we're going to ask if my uncle buddy, Elder Samuel Blunt, will come We just thank God for everything on today. We're going to ask you to bow your head. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this grand occasion that you allowed us to come together in the name of Jesus. Family and friends, God, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We thank you, God, for no sad occasion, no loss of no loved one. But, God, we come to celebrate, God, in the name of Jesus, the life of my sister. God, we thank you for her birthday. We thank you for everyone, oh God. They have driven and taken out the time to come. We ask you, O oh God, to bless this gathering. Be in our midst, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We give you glory. And the people say, Amen. 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 We thank you. Remain standing. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food that's been prepared. Let be taken in for the nourishment of our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen, who has been there for us our whole life. Amen. She has rolled up pennies and nickels and helped us with dads. Always took our kids and ride them. And she always would say, I got 50 cents. She get the head of cream on 50 cents of prayer. And she has always, always cooked and helped everybody. Uncle Bud just does so much for everybody. And that's why we pouring into her, amen, as much as we can. Amen. She has a great heart. Amen. And Lord, you know she'll help you. Amen. She'll help you and won't talk about you. And I appreciate that. She loved the kids and the kids love her. Mm -hmm. Amen. She always has a way of blessing us. Even when we were young, me and Liz, uh, was get, what our kids get now, she's able to do more now and love them and just give out a whole lot more now. And me and Liz and uh, I don't know, all of us used to get uh, whatever she did. We would go over there well and come back sick. And it won't because she made us sick. She would feed us. Mm -hmm. She yeah. always made sure that we was fed. You're going to get fed, and you're going to ride anywhere she's going. How long it take her? you in that car with her for the long haul. Yes. 
And she's always been a blessing to us. And this was our time. Thank God for Quentin putting it together. But this is our time yes. to be a blessing to her and show her love and do what she do. She still find a way, 65 years old, she, still look good. Yeah. And yeah. still help and do whatever she can. But I love her. She has a special love for all the kids mm -hmm. at the church. She take on to them. And she has a way of doing what she do. And I tell you, God is going to reward her. Whatever she do, secretly God is going to reward her openly. But this is her day for us to bless her. That's why we're here. We press. But I want to be here for this woman of God who just has shown us a lot of things and shown us how to do so much. And one thing I want to tell her to her face, you have been great for us. You have been a help to us. You have not harmed us in any type of way. You have always helped us with money, whatever we needed. She has always, always been there for us. And I want to tell you, I love you, and we really appreciate all that you do for us. I kiss you. From the first day I seen you, I love you. And I love you to life. You are very beautiful, a beautiful spirit, always offering good advice or telling me to go get one of my hard head chips. And you know what? And I appreciate you. <laughs> and I love you for all that you do. I love you for, you know, giving me encouragement. And you give all of us encouragement with our little babies. And, you know, steer us in the right direction and let us know what we need to do. Keep them babies' head covered and put something on their arms. Right. I appreciate all that. I appreciate all the wisdom that you give. And I love you and I hope you enjoy your birthday. I am so glad I was able to make it here because I actually thought it was Saturday. But I'm so glad it was today. And I'm so glad that I made it here. And we love you from my whole people that don't want to talk. <laughs> That's my cousin, but she's an aunt to me. I call her Aunt Lou. Been knowing her since I was in the seventh grade, so we moved out here from Florida. She's always been a great person, a good person. And uh, I want to say happy birthday to you. I love you. She always acknowledges my kids. She always makes sure you tell them kids I love them. And I just thank God for her. I thank God for her son, Quentin, to have a son like that. To do this mm -hmm. for you, you 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 have you have raised him well. Amen. He loves you, and you can he shows it. He loves his mother, and I think that is just so wonderful. And uh, I just thank God for you. I thank God for everyone here. Thank God for the family, and um, God bless. I Happy enjoy. birthday. Mama Liz, I I met her and immediately she took me in. So I'm just grateful to be here. It's been a month of Sundays. I miss you down in Smithfield. Pray for us. Um, but happy birthday, and we love you from the residents at Providence all the way to, like I said, myself, um, who you've taken in um, as a great niece. So thank you. I happy birthday. To read to you. When I think of my sister Lou, Thelma, Lou, Blunt, Hill, Lawson, the word comes to mind is special. Special is a word that is used to describe something or one of a kind, like a hug or a sunset or a person who spreads love with a smile or a kind gesture. That's who you are, special. Special describes people who act from the heart and keep in mind the hearts of others. That's special. That's who you are. Special applies to something that is admired and precious and that can never be replaced. That's special. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. Special is the word that best describes you. That's who you are. Special. I want to say happy birthday from me and my clan who is not here but have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. We love you so much. Happy birthday. Being the youngest in the family, most of my siblings have treated me as if they were my an extended parent or aunt or something, just to tell me what to do. But talking about my sister Thelma, I mean Lou, talking about Lou, I learned a lot. When she was doing hair, uh, she had her own salon and all that, a thriving business. During the summers when I wasn't in school, I would help her. 
And you know, I would learn, you know, do different things. It doesn't look like it today, but um, to do different things about hair and, and other things. And she taught me so much. But the one thing that she taught me, and she probably didn't know she taught me this, but she taught me patience. Mm -hmm. Because when we went to get our hair done, so, <laughs> this sister, mm -hmm. we had to help do different things, Goodbye. but um, we were last. Mm -hmm. So we, we had to have patience. We look good, you know, that come Sunday or whenever we were going to an event. But we had to learn patience. And that patience that I learned from her took me into my career, you know, teaching with children and all that. You know, you got to have patience with children. Not only did I learn patience from her, I learned the craft, and I also learned how to give. She's such a giving person. And it's not just with other people, it's, in, it's not just with family, it's with extended families, you know. You hear everybody say, you call her Aunt Lou and everything. Well, she is Aunt Lou to my kids and her siblings' kids and everything, but she's more than Aunt Lou because it's like, take my daughter for instance. I think my sister Lou is probably the only one that she will tell certain things to. Sometimes she ain't got no choice because she's going to ask. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> she don't keep secrets and she'll tell you things. But you learn so much from a person that, that gives so much. Yeah. They don't know at the, at the moment that they're teaching so much from different ones. But you can just, she, people gravitate to her. Yes. And it was like that with me in the school system. Kids, I, whatever age, I think I had some of you kids, maybe um, Shakitha's, I had had her two oldest kids, but other kids that would gravitate to me. Teachers have kids that they can't control, mm -hmm. call Miss Rogers, see what she can do with them. You know, whether she wanted to do it or not, but mm -hmm. it's just a trait that I learned from my sister. Mm -hmm. And she is special. Yeah, she, she is. is. She is special. She is. She is. You know, yeah. she didn't know about this, but she kept hinting, mm -hmm. 65 is a, is a, <laughs> is a milestone. <laughs> What y'all gonna do? <laughs> I said, we gonna do what we been doing. We gonna go out and eat where you wanna go. So I called her the other day. I said, where's this seafood place at that Quentin wanted to take us in Winterville? I don't even like seafood like that. Nothing but some scrimp, you know. And she was like, I don't know. Just call Quentin. He's doing it. I said, okay. So she was, she didn't, she wasn't down, but she wasn't, you know, as upbeat about this. But that 65, she kept saying it's special. <laughs> like she was saying it's special. So I'm glad Quentin and everybody else put together this special birthday for a special sister. I say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Truly, you are a very special person. Mm -hmm. But you're special in my life. Mm -hmm. That means that you are my sister. And I look at you as being a very, very special person. No one could never ever feel your spot. That's right. Because you mean so much to me. I love you with all my heart, my soul, my mind. Mm -hmm. I love you. I can't say any more because truly, I do know that I love you just as much as you love me. Mm -hmm. And on this day right here, I hope this day I bring you a lot of joy, mm -hmm. pleasure yes. that you'll forever remember. I love you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. A lot of times, the closest one to me, being younger than me, but closest next to me, under me. And we went to school and everything. She was one I had to look out for. Because some of the other they was already out of school, so she was next to me. So I looked out for her when we went to school and everything. And then I just thank the Lord for her today. This is her 65th birthday. She said it's a special day for her. It is. You don't be 65 at one time in your life. And it's a, it's, a, it's a milestone for her that she wants to celebrate. And it's a good thing she can celebrate 65 years with a family, friends, and you coming out and, and making it the day that it is. We thank the Lord for this. Thank God for her. And we all talk about how special she is to them and how she has done different things for so many people. That's what makes a life so special. Yes. You know, in life it's like this. Now I'm a preacher, so I'm not gonna yes. preach. But you know, life is like this. Life is not what you take out of it. You understand? Life is not what you take out of it. Life is what you make it and what you make for others. It's how your life 
when you leave this world, we're not saying she's leaving or doing anything, but when you leave this world, it's how you have influenced people. It's what you leave behind. You see what I'm saying? It's what you leave behind. Even though you're gone, it's how you have touched and influenced so many lives while you are here. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the reason why God have us to be in this world. Not to take so much out of this world, but when we leave, it's how we influence or how we have influenced other people before we leave. And then that person continue to live on after they are gone because they touch lives. They influence lives. They, they instruct people in the right way. We help them get on the right path. And when we are gone, people remember what you have done. Right. They see you in a different light. Mm -hmm. Your life has been a light to others. It begins to touch and motivate other people. Mm -hmm. Even though you're gone, you say, I remember Thelma because she done this. Right. And Thelma was an example to other people of how to love, right. how to give, yeah. how to give of themselves. And that's where God wants us to be. Yes. So when you see that, you're seeing an example of God's love. You see what I'm saying? You're seeing an example of God's love. And that's what God wants us to do. Be an example. To leave something behind when we leave this world. Thank God for my sister Thelma. We used to run the road, run up down the road and play and all of that. And she stuck so close to me. One day we were riding bicycle, me and my friend Connie. He know what I'm talking about when Connie, we were racing coming down the road. We ran over her. When I go home, I got a whooping. <laughs> for running over her and everything. But I thank God for 65 years, Thelma. We want God to continue to bless you. Continue doing what you're doing. Don't stop giving to other people. Sometimes your giving might be down to the last. But you know God will always bless you when you give down to your last. When it looks like you ain't got nothing else to give, God will open the door and make a way. Yes. So you'll still be able to give and give from your heart. Yes. And God going to bless you. That's yes. why God has blessed you these number of years. 65. Hang in there, young lady. God going to bless you even more. And just bless you. And give a special salute to the lady that I've known I have come to know as Bula. <laughs> I mean no offense. Come on, but, um, when I heard that, you know, someone used to call her by that name, it just stuck with me. Yep. And so whenever I uh, talk to my wife uh, about uh, Aunt Lou, I always say, who, Bula? <laughs> and she knows exactly who I'm talking about. But um, a lot of things have been said by a lot of different people um, about uh, Lou, but there's one thing that I want to mention that um, she has done that has impacted me, um, and it came so far out of the blue that after she left, I was sitting there wondering and thinking and just going over what we had just shared. She kind of snuck up on me, and she was asking me some questions, trying to uh, get some help from me on an assignment she had to do. And she was asking me some questions, and I was giving her the best I had. But she was giving back to me more and better than I was giving to her. And so when it was over, as I said, you know, she had left, and I was just sitting there, and I do this a lot, I reflect a lot on the things that happen uh, on a regular basis. My wife would tell you sometimes I share those things with her, and I think she wants to stick her fingers in her ears. I don't know if she got that from Bula or not, but anyway. <laughs> but, I, but, but I'm here to say this one thing about her. She is who she is. She is who you see. She is who she presents herself to you. But remember this one thing. She ain't no slow leak now. Don't challenge her on that book we carry around called The Holy Bible. Don't try it. You might, you very well might get embarrassed because she's sharp. It surprised me, um, even stunned me to the point where I still recall it. And it's been several years ago. I don't even know if she remembers it because it may not have been that impactful to her, but it was to me to realize how well versed she was in what she was asking me about. So, I, I, at, so at a certain point, I just couldn't believe it. But that was good for me because it challenged me to sharpen what I thought I was good at. Come to find out, I'm the one who was a slow lead. So 
ultimately to say she's a lot of things to a lot of people. She's a lot of the same thing to a lot of different people. This is your source. This lady is your source. So I've encountered so many people who have lived so many years who can barely hold a conversation with a teenager. She can hold a conversation with the best of them. With the best of them. And I don't care who comes to mind when you hear me say that. That's your source. That is a golden source. Appreciate her. I'm glad we're doing this today because so many times we do this when they're cold and they can't hear us from what I understand. But not just today. Continue to appreciate and to celebrate the life that we know as Aunt Lou. This is a great lady and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to meet her by way of my wife, the baby. Um, <laughs> but you know, as I was sitting there, I thought about the verse that says rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. And I am so happy, and I'm so happy for your, your son that I didn't know anything about it until this morning. And you're talking about ordained time. God ordained that time. I was coming from the store, he was coming out of the apartment complex, and he saw me, he said, did you see that note that I left on your car? And I said, no, I didn't. He said, well, maybe it blew off or something. I didn't <laughs> see it. But I would not have missed it. I'm so glad that that time this morning that I saw you, I'm so happy. You know, I just want to say that I love her. It's been a, quite a while since I've seen her, probably over a year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the last time I saw her, she had something in her hand and she gave me something. But you know, we share, she's been to my house and we share mm -hmm. and all, we, we, we go through clothes and stuff, pick out clothes and share clothes and share love. I'm a big believer in the helps ministry. And you know, it's not only about church, but just helping one another. And she's helped me a lot. And let me say this, and I wasn't gonna say it, but we both were single parents. We didn't start out that way with the children because we had the husbands, but we ended up being single parents and we stuck with the children when nobody else did. And I thank God, I thank God for the connection that I have like with you. I feel like I'm your sister, even though I don't see you that much, but there's still a connection. I wouldn't have missed it. I would have been so upset if I had missed this today. And I thank God for all of you. Yeah. Praise when God. we're down there at the shop, we're in the back to the shampoo bowl, and we're talking and talking about the goodness of the Lord and things that we've been through with and how the Lord brought us out. And then we talk about both of us being single. <laughs> and Quentin gets mad, get upset with us. But nevertheless, God has brought us and mm -hmm. took us through. And um, I just hope you enjoy your day today. You look so beautiful. <laughs> Say again, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. I want to say happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. um, as he said very well, my mom could not be here today, but she sent her love. I was just with her um, a few moments ago. That's why I'm a little late because then I had to go home and get dressed. But she was like, she was like, oh Lord, Linda, if I was there, was so much I can't say. But mm -hmm. she she told me to tell you thank you mm -hmm. down through the years when she used to come from um, the state of Connecticut, um, come down here to North Carolina to do revivals, one of the very first stops was to you mm -hmm. to get her hair done. So, and she just told me to tell you thank you for all the many years that you used to do her hair. And back then, um, everyone knows my mother used to wear the curls, the Jerry curls, and then she loved it. And, and she always used to um, say, sometimes she didn't get her hair done before she, um, left um, Connecticut, she's like, but so when I hit North Carolina, I know where I'm going to get my hair done. So, but she told me to tell you, thank you. She said, she knows she has said it, but she told me to tell you again, thank you um, for um, keeping her hair done, keeping her curls going and things like that. And she also told me to tell you that she loved you and happy birthday. And I just want to thank you, um, 
Quentin, where you at? Anyway, for just allowing this time to give space, if my mother would have been here, just to um, allow her to have some words and just to show some love of um, and pressing towards you. Um, and I thank y'all for this time. Amen. And, I, and special thanks because part of my mother's family is in your family. Amen. Love you, cuz. Amen. And we just thank God for you all. Everybody. Thelma, I met her. We moved back from New York. The first night we got here, we spent at her house. My uncle took us home and she, you know, welcomed us with open arms, fed us fish. I never forget it. First night that we got here, you know, and over the years growing up, um, she's always loved on us, loved us. Um, we spent the night during school day, summer. We spent the night during the school day. She took us to school. It, it, it's a, it's a big thing, but you don't, you don't realize the sacrifice that people make doing these things, but that I have children, they have friends, I, I, I see it, you know, and I appreciate it even more. And over the years, she's never ceased telling me that she loves me, regardless of what situation was or, or whatever case, she, she's always loved on me and loved me, and I love her back, and I thank God he blessed you to see another birthday. 65 is a milestone. And I'm praying that God bless you with so many more that you will never be able to count it. And I hope you know it, because I, I tell you to my seed, but I hope you know it's from the heart when I tell you that I love you. And I appreciate the part that you played in my life. I appreciate you taking me to church. appreciate you showing me love, feeding me, going to school. I mean, even, the, even her discipline was done in love. <laughs> so, you know, so I, I just thank God for you, and I love you, and I'm, I'm <laughs> I think and I praise God for her because she has been in my life forever. She has always been there for us when we needed her. She would dress us, she would straighten our hair. Oh, and have her as bad as I hated that. But she would straighten our hair. But I thank God for this woman of God because if it had not been for her and her being my mom's sister, I don't know where we would be at a lot of times because when my mom used to live in Eaton, North Carolina, she was right here for us. She helped to take care of us. She made sure we got to school. She made sure we got something to eat. And if we needed to go somewhere, she would take us somewhere on 50 cents and bring us back. Come on, somebody. She would. She would put 50 cents in the gas tank and say, oh, we going, and we're going to get back. And lo and behold, we got to where we was going, and we came back home. So I thank God for her. And I say that I pray that God will bless you to see many, many more birthdays. And we just love you with my whole heart. Brandon wanted to be here but could not. But he said to tell you that he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And I pray that God will bless you and have you in the Y'all, we and I thank God for you. Yes. I thank God for just being a blessing to the church. She always got that wisdom that she come in and, and people just listen when she get here to talk. That's I mean, right. everything gets silent when she get ready to start talking. But whoa, when she get ready to praise God, everybody starts spreading out, getting around out little bit sure she's all right. And I just want to bring you God's feet on your yes, 65 right. birthday. And I just want to let you know that I love you. <laughs> just being in the midst of everybody was enough for me. Hello, everybody. Hello. I am one of the great nieces. Um, it's crazy listening to all of you guys' stories. Um, one I could honestly talk about is when she used to do me and my sister hair. And Lord knows, when this young lady mentioned Jerry Curl, my mind went all the way back. <laughs> because boy, 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 did I hate getting those things in my head. Because they burned so bad. <laughs> Let alone, she used to save us from a whole bunch of books. So she would be like, why don't beat him? Just talk to him. And he'd quickly be like, well, Lou, I just, no. No, don't do it. That's not the way to do it. So on this day, I come to celebrate you, Aunt Lou. It's good to see you. And I love you and everybody else. So I'm going to take my seat. And I lift my voice. To worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy my King, 
in what you hear. And let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, and let me a sweet sweet sound in your ear we exalt thee we exalt thee we exalt thee oh saying, oh Lord, we exalt thee, hallelujah, we, we exalt thee, we give you praise tonight, we exalt thee, oh Lord, oh Lord, we exalt thee, we
But um, I just thank all of y'all for coming out. I really do. And I love her so much. I got her some stuff in the car. But um, thank y'all for coming. And um, anything y'all feel like y'all want to do for her, make sure you do. I'm going to tell you again, she loves me. <laughs> so put that green in the hand, she loves me. But thank y'all so much. Um, I just want to tell you thank you. Um, I met the both of them by coming to somebody else's birthday party because I needed my hair done at that time. <laughs> and um, from day one, um, when I met you, I felt the love and most of all the spirit of the Lord, which is very important mm -hmm. in these days and times. And I want to tell you thank you for welcoming me mm -hmm. and welcoming me with open arms. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you, I appreciate the wisdom um, in your times of just sitting down next to me and ask me how I'm doing mm -hmm. and not knowing nothing but just saying everything is gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tell you happy birthday and I wouldn't have missed it. I got it at the last minute that so I said, okay, I'm gonna come down this road but I, it's well worth it yes. because there's nothing like showing love. Mm -hmm. And my mother used to say, give me my flowers while I can see them, mm -hmm. while I can smell them. And while I know that you are giving them to me, and I wouldn't have missed this day and this time for you. Happy birthday to you. I wish you a 10 more, 20 more, 30 more, 40 more. And not only that, the wisdom that you have, and you keep walking in doing what God has called you to do. Happy birthday. Blessing of the Lord. Yes. Normally when she sees me, she's always trying to stuff something in my hand. I just put it like that. And I told her, I told her no, 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 don't do that. But she insists. Yes. And so that's why God has blessed her. Yes. And, uh, I didn't want to say much because I got too much church in me and I don't want to be exploded up in here. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, my, my wife preached the message this morning, better days ahead. Yes. And I just want to leave that with you, better days ahead. No matter what the past has been, God mm -hmm. said there are better days ahead. Yes. And so look forward to that. Many, many more birthdays. Because you have so much to share and to give to others. So. No, when you leave, leave empty. Amen. But they are like food. Amen. 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 I bless you. I love you so much. You've been a help to me in so many ways. I always want to be there. Come help her. And I do it because I love her so much to do this. And I always call her Aunt Lou because she always been an aunt to me. And feel like an aunt to me. Even all the family. And we is family. But you feel like an aunt to me. And I love her so much. I thank God for you. And happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. You used to say you were from the camera. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'm going to do this song as a special request from my aunt. Pray with me, please. Let praises rise from the inside. From the inside of me, may you delight in the inside, in the inside of me. Come feel my life from the inside, from the inside.
we are here celebrating this great woman of God, yeah, yeah, which, yeah. Uh, which seems to be my aunt. Yes. We're not sitting here viewing her. Right. We're seeing and looking at her. Yes. So what I need for you to do is to open your mouth yes. and praise God for this life yes. and worship with us yes. and speak with us all tonight. Because there's nobody but the good Lord that will allow her to see 65 years of life all that she's been through. Yes. And she can still open her mouth yes. and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody can say that right now, but she can say it. And you can open your mouth and help her praise his holy name. Huh? 
and that life begin to spring up. And through that word, it healed my body. Huh? Healed my mind. No wound the place where you've been wounded so long. Huh? Didn't know how. You still had a smile on your face, but you still were wounded down on the inside. Yes. But you taught me how to let stuff go. How to be happy. Amen. Even though you ain't got no but you still can be happy with yourself. That's right. And God knows I'm living better now than I ever lived in my life. Huh? Word free. Amen. Huh? I can just think on something. Yes. Just think on it. And God will manifest it. And when he tell me, he tell me to do things, y'all, and I ain't talking about no little bit of stuff. Come He'll on. tell me, say, I want you to go drop this. Mm -hmm. I said, if you said, I'm going to do it. Amen. Can be tired of sleeping. He said, don't go home yet. I want you to go down y'all and so-and-so high. And I want you to drop it. I drop it and I don't look back. They say, that, I, don't give me no thanks. God said, give him the glory. Amen. He's got me trying to get people to see him again. Yeah. Don't see the people that's, that's right. giving to you. But see him. Because he's the one that uses us as an instrument that's right. to do things. That's right. So he wants the glory. Amen. He wants the glory. Amen. He don't want to be like the children of Israel. Where you know every time you get in trouble, then he gets you out. Huh? But then you go right back, right back. and do the same old thing. That's right. But he wants to come out and stay out. That's right. And he said, them that delight themselves in him. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, we will do it. He will. Huh? And keep your mind on it. Yes, sir. Ah, and keep you in perfect peace. Yes, he will. Just delight yourself in it. Huh? Huh? Amen. Huh? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Y'all got me stirred up. <laughs> and my niece, I don't see her much. I used to keep her a lot for my nephew when he had to work. Sing. But she didn't sing no and I'm so glad and so happy to see her this afternoon. And that she can sing my soul happy. I'm telling you, it's a blessing to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead, y'all. Huh? Huh? It's a minute. Ain't even been sick of me. Gonna wait now. Amen. I heard him tell my brother and one time, I say, that she'll live till in the morning. Huh? My baby sister didn't understand, thank you, sweetie, what they were saying. I had a brain tumor. And they say, they'll play that music. I said, y'all cut the music. Oh, I don't want to say it right then. And they were saying, well, she told me she didn't know no better. She said, look, if you got to die, get your business with the Lord. I said, God said I can live and not die. Yes, huh? But right. she didn't know because you won't talk. Mm -hmm. She won't say. She didn't know, but she knew I needed God if I die. Amen. But God told me I could live. And he let me be a living testimony right. for my family. Yes. But they see me down, Lord, you can go. Yes. Huh? And but I, I, I hear God say, say it to some of the young folk. Uh -huh. I've been shot at, yeah. run across hot wire. Uh -huh. And God never let my feet hit the hot wire. Huh? Been beat, knifed up to my throat, gun snap. And God wouldn't let it fly. Huh? But I kept it to myself. And I kept that on praying. And I kept that on believing God. I still didn't mistreat nobody. Huh? And that same person, I washed them up, took care of them, ran up till they died. Once before they died, they apologized. Too late then. I told them I've been forgiven. You have to forgive people in order for you to be free. In order for you to live. Regardless of what they do, you have to forgive y'all. Huh? That's right. No matter what it is, of what they have done. Yes. Because we got to meet a maker one day. Huh? That soon coming king. Huh? Because he's coming back. And you can tell by the atmosphere. Huh? How people are king. He said they're king and think they did God justice. Huh? So look, y'all keep on loving one another. Lord, I see my little cousin Trisha. I didn't even see you earlier, but I thank God for you. She went on and stayed in my house. Her mama beat her, made her go home. She stayed so much. She said, well, I want to go back. She said, no, you ain't. You go and stay home. And every chance she got, she'd be right where I was at. But uh, I just try to show people love. And I've been through. I didn't even know we were poor. Because we fed. I told somebody to come back. I said, the children get off the bus and run to my house to eat. I'd have one chicken, some beans, and some bread. I don't know how I fed everybody. 
fed everybody and bounced that Jesus fed five thousand. And then still with food now. And they were full. Get off the bus, come to my house, where for the go home. But God let me do it. And some of those same children that I see me in the street. Look, I ain't forgot what you did. And they do stuff for you. And I thank God for that. I thank God for everybody that's here and for all the ones you know that I seen early in life. I know DeVis is an apostle, but he's still my baby. Amen. You know? He built me since he was a little bit boy. Amen. Look, Amen. he be on the keyboard, quit on the drums. Amen. Him and Quentin that would be my choir. Amen. I go out here to preach, Amen. wouldn't you? Amen. Lord, no, I told him I go out and say, remember when Jordan throw the brother's shoes on top of uh, RJ2. <laughs> RJ all of them right there, put all the high house of the children that car. <laughs> After church, I say just enough to get everybody a chicken nugget. RJ Clay, I'd have always bought quick too, but I did. <laughs> everybody, same thing. A chicken nugget. Everybody had something before we went home. But he took me about that thing right now. He said, You remember you used to buy quick too chicken? I said, I don't think so. I think all y'all got the same thing. But the reason I love him for life, I love him. I do. Because we follow him too. Crazy enough to go everywhere and bit. Sometimes we go three. Four servers on the highway did. Amen. That joke would go set the church on fire. That Pam did it. Come on, come on. We got to go down here. The beach ain't hey, hey, ready to go home. Now we got to go right down here to sister so and so so and so high. The church, we got to do this there. God know he would cast all over the place. Met a lot of people. He's a blessed young man. Yes, he is. The favor of God is over his yes, life. Is. And God always is bringing him out. Yes. But it seems like it ain't no way out. And you know, even the situation with your dad. Amen. You know I love him because he hung on me too as a small child. God still got everything in control. Y'all just keep me in prayer because I tell you I'm excited now. And see, I could preach a little bit. Huh? But see, I ain't, I ain't been able to preach in a while. But uh, I'm like my brother, I'm a hold my music. Uh, I'm a hold it. I'm a hold it. But y'all pray for me. And I thank God for seeing my uh, youngest grandson. I don't get a chance to see my grandchildren either, y'all. Some of them are just mean to keep them back. But I'm praying for that, too. Amen. You know what I'm saying? No, for real. For real. You're talking right. This, huh? I Hey, Kyle. <laughs> give me a baby, give me a hug. This is my oldest daughter's son. He's in college. He played football. Come on, now. And the one I raised is Xavier. He'll come out of school this year. He's going to play for NC State soon. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you, man, look, Adidas is sending him all over the place. Been to all kinds of places. I'm telling you. And uh, his brother went to college on a wrestling scholarship and went all the way through. Graduated twice from college. Wow. And now he's helping my grandson that I raised. And they have get up for all kind of recognition, sending his pictures all over the place. And people already at him to sign up with them. But y'all pray for it, Xavier. So you know he get ready when he graduates, he's gonna start a new life. You know, and just keep me in prayer. That I can I don't do too much, keep a little bit of cheering like I used to, but you know. <laughs> when they get up some side like I told one today and can follow me. Oh yeah. I take a deal with them loons. I, I like to take a nap now. I just got to the age, you know what I'm saying? You give them no sleep sometimes. You want to take a nap. These babies don't be still. They get down, turn the stove on, that's the red one. Hey, everything's on. You don't set your fire there. <laughs> no, they keep the little bit of them, but I do love them. I really do. And I thank God for her taking care of him so good. He tired now, y'all. He rested. But, but this won't be the last time we see him. Ain't that right? I love you too. It's a necklace. You do? Okay, talk to your friend. He bought it there. <laughs> but look, y'all, just pray my straight to the Lord. I love God. I'm I know everybody's tired. But you know what? I don't got rejuvenated. I can tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you. Yes, you did. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down, y'all. Because I, I got, as those children said, a set of wind. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> it ain't your birthday. I mean, you mean give you one measure and then cut you right off. <laughs> what kind of stuff is that? <laughs> Man, I paid you a lot of money. You better get something that else off. <laughs> I need my check back. I need my check back. All right, you guys, on the count of three.
we going to sing it the way we do it. You know we're real churchy and Pentecostal. So I need your hand clap and your foot stomp. And we're going to give it to them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday. So can you hurry up, please? Thank you. put everything I can into celebrating and honoring this woman of God. Yeah. Yeah. And someone said to me, why you want to do this, that, and the third? But when you watch the woman drive a vehicle that had fumes in it, developed COPD from fumes from a vehicle that she really couldn't afford to get a new one, had to stop holes in the winter time to keep the air out. Had to unplug them in the summertime to get a breeze. Mm -hmm. Having to tote water from Uncle Walt Jr. house back through the field. Mm -hmm. Having to go outside and prime a pump to try to get water to come into the house. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about years of watching her take one skirt and change up the blouse running revivals, telling everybody else how faithful God is. Yes. And then only to find herself going home and not crying or mumbling or complaining, but taking a can of tuna fish and making fish cakes, only because not that's something she wanted, but because that's all we had to eat. Yes. Talking about a woman that could take and make succotash and make it the best meal you ever had. Yes. Talking about a woman that got hit by a deer didn't know if she was going to be able to walk again or see or anything of that nature. Not really knowing how to cook, but going home and having a steak that was kind of raw. But I did the best I could to cook what I could for her. Having to help her with a bath and getting dressed because I was the only one in the home and everybody else had their own personal life. Thanking my cousin Gary for walking over and checking on her while I was in school, but I watched this woman come from nothing, only to come up to a, 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 a statue of faith that is unshakable by any words that you could ever say. There's not a word in the Webster Dictionary or in Google that could ever exemplify the exuberance that this woman has shown come on down through the years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For a lot of people can write poems and they can find different things to say on today, but I know from my own experience that this woman has gone without eating so that her kids could eat. I've watched her go through so much down through the years. That's why when I got my first tax check, I went and bought her a better vehicle. 
that vehicle started messing up and she began to say, I got to get it fixed. I said, no, you don't. We're going to trade it. She went from, I don't know how I'm going to pay that car payment, to we're going to try to figure it out, but then paying it completely off. Mm -hmm. Then after that vehicle tow up, she began to say, I don't know what I'm going to do this time. She began to talk to her niece. I'm just telling you what I know. Come on. She began to talk to, which was Pastor Ribbon at the time. She began to say, I really don't know what to do, but pray for me. And Pastor Ribbon began to say, Aunt Lou, go down there to Back Creek and tell them, I sent you. They gave her a van on faith. Said, bring me back this here when you get a chance. She brought it back to him, and then the enemy tried to get in that, but let me tell you, God blessed her with another new vehicle. And one thing I found out down through the years, she had a lot of faith. Yes. And right when she got her newest vehicle, which she drives today, she began to say, Quentin, don't run me up on no snag. <laughs> I said, Mama, I promise you, I ain't going to run you up on no snag. I, I sent the picture to Apostle Rim and she said, Quentin, what's this? I said, this is Mama's new car. We got it for her for Mother's Day. Yep. And she had six years on it. <laughs> at the price of $360 a month. But tell somebody, in two and a half years, she paid that truck off. Yes. I'm talking yes. about a wealthy yes. car yes. that comes from nowhere yes. up to a place now where yes. when I want to give $100, she said, no, nah, let's give two. Mm -hmm. I said, well, mama, let's do this. She said, no, nah, let's do more. I'm talking about a woman that does not find herself first, but she finds herself last but ends up the most blessed person you could yeah, ever yeah, find. Yeah. So I would like for you, if you would, please stand to your feet this afternoon and put your hands together and let us celebrate this wealthy woman on this afternoon yes. by calling her our new. And I thank y'all so much for coming out. I thank my sisters and my brother for all, everything that they have done. My brother couldn't be here today. My sister, is she couldn't be here today, but I promise you, my older sister couldn't be here, but I promise you, they have had a great part in helping me right, put this it. together. Yes, and I want to say thank them for being so good. She has one grandson that is here this afternoon. The other ones haven't gotten here yet. They got held up in traffic. But she has one that is here this afternoon. So y'all come on and clap for him. He's the youngest of them. <laughs> And his brother and his mom for being here this afternoon. Thank y'all so, so much. One of these old days is gonna be all over. One of these old days, we're going home. You see, the angel will come. To get me and take me to glory, but the angels will have to wait because I'm not through winning souls for Jesus yet. I still got work to do. I'm not through. I'm not through, not yet. Not a yet.
with you. 